SharePoint now has the request files feature to allow persons to upload files upon request with security and access control in place. Now, firstly, your admin will need to enable anyone links and ensure folder permissions are set to view, edit, and upload in order to use this feature. In this tutorial, I'm looking to gather resumes from a number of people internally and externally. So firstly, what I'll do is, as you can see, I'm on SharePoint here. I'm in my uh, library. And I will go to folder. So I'm creating a folder. Let's call it resume. Now, resume is created. The next step would be to request files. I can go to the ellipsis here or the three dots here, and you will see request files or I could go to ellipsis here and select request files. Either way works. So I'll do just that. Now you would want to make the description very clear so that when the person receives that link, uh, it is very obvious what the request is. So in this case, what I would do is say, please upload your current or let's put updated resume. Description is out, so I'll click next. Now at this point, you're provided with a link and anyone with this link can upload files. You can copy the link as well as you can enter the name of the person that you'd like to send the link to. So let's say, all right, I'm gonna send it to Jessica. And as you can see, you can add multiple persons. And I'm gonna send it to my personal email address that shows that I can actually send it externally. All right, so I'll just leave it at that. I could even add a message here. Okay, send that off. And there you go. Message it sent, it's enabled for that particular folder. Now there's a notification that I will, would receive to my private email, my Gmail, and I'll bring that over. So as you can see, please up your, upload your updated resume. That's the message. And the additional message, please, I need it by 5 p.m. or at 5 p.m. So now all I would do at this point is select upload files. Now that I've selected that, the pop-up will, let me bring that over, all you're seeing is please upload file, select, select files, go to my desktop. Let's go to resume, my Gmail. At this point, because I'm external and I did not, uh, as you can see, I'm not logged in with any Microsoft account, I would need to put my first and last name. So let's call myself James Bond today. File is added and I could add more than one file. So let's say I'll upload that file. It's completed, a hey, James Bond. Now you could actually go ahead and add more. So let me do that again and add another one, the same exact file. And as you can see, it allows me to add. Now there are some things you should be mindful of. You cannot upload files with empty contents. If it was a, a file, a Word document, and nothing was in the document, it would reject it. It would not allow you to upload it. Um, as I said, you can upload multiple. Now, you will not have visibility, as you can see, on the folder that existed for that um, resume. You will not have access or visibility on persons that have uploaded files to that folder. And that is a security measure. And because you don't have that visibility, you won't be able to edit, delete, or even download any files. Let's say just now I, I uploaded same file name twice. What will happen is that a number will be affixed or added to that file name and will increment based on the amount of files uploaded with the same name. So now I'm back on the SharePoint. Once I click on resume, it will show that 
I uploaded the file twice, but as you can see, it added the one because the same file name and it will continue to do that, which is typical uh, for file management. Now, when there's an upload, a notification comes over and this is what it would look like. Now, just to give you the view um, from when you're logged into Microsoft. So what I've done is literally paste the link And as you can see, it has me logged in. I can go ahead and select the file. And let's go back to resume again. As you can see at this point, I don't need to enter my name because I'm authenticated already and it entered that information. And all I would do is upload similar to what I've done before. So now I'll go back. So let's say I'm finished with the folder. I've gathered the inf intelligence or information or resumes that I do need. Uh, for security purposes, I want to go back now, select that folder, and I want to manage the access by removing that request file link. And to do that, as you can see it right here, more option. Click the X to remove the link, select delete, and it is now removed. Now, if I wanted to use or just to test to make sure that link has been removed, I can always go back and let me paste the link in again. And as you can see, the link has been removed. Now, what about from the viewpoint of the external and personal email address that I had? What would that look like? Let me bring that browser over and paste that link. And what you have is access to night. And that is really how you would set up request files and remove request files. Hope this was informative for you.